after the Ayodhya verdict, we really did see that in some senses, where in a sense, because of the Supreme Court, whether it's been our democracy, our governments, our Supreme Court, that has stood uh, firm in terms of the verdict that was delivered. It was accepted by everybody. There was not, there was no uh, fear. There was a fear of a fallout that didn't happen. And in that Ayodhya verdict, it made it very clear that this is an exceptional case, that all the points you are making was actually made by the Supreme Court as well, and this will not happen again. But are we then, today it's the Gyanwapi issue, tomorrow it will be another issue. Do we then open a Pandora's box? Where the res resolution will take place, I don't know. But the point is for that, should truth be not spoken of? Uh, there were, for example, among the uh, crimes, the fault lines that happened was also caste oppression. Right? We speak very truthfully of, of what happened. Uh, India also made compensation for it. We have run the biggest positive discrimination uh, affirmative action program in the history of humanity for the last 70 years uh, as, a, as a nation to address the issue of caste oppression. And we sp speak the truth of it. Hasn't India actually improved in the last 70 years in terms of how uh, the caste issue is, uh, is addressed? Again, I'm not saying we're perfect, but haven't we improved? And so I would repeat once again what what Mahatma Gandhi said, what Gautam Buddha said, what Adi Shankaracharya said, what Jesus Christ said, truth. Truth is the best disinfectant. 